What's up guys, this is Cedric. This is gonna be a new series on my channel. It's gonna be specifically all of my favorites. Today's favorite, poker books. My top five poker books, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Cedric. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a professional poker player. I post these videos once a week and I talk about all kinds of things, whether it's strategy, whether it's tournaments, cash games, just my favorites and just some tips for you. So I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell down below so that you can follow all my videos weekly. So like I said, I'm gonna be talking about all my favorites here on this channel in this series. And today's favorite is specifically about books, poker books. Other videos down the road are going to be about poker movies, poker rooms, favorite places to play, things like that, but today we're talking about books. So let's get into it. So these books are in no particular order. My first book is Molly's Game by Molly Bloom. So you might already be familiar with this story. Uh, it was turned into a major motion picture, probably like my second or third favorite uh, poker movie of all time. But this book is specifically about uh, a young lady that moved to LA got into the poker scene, started hosting huge games in Los Angeles and New York, and these ended up being the biggest games in the world. This is really exciting. I actually read this book before the movie even came out, and I thought it was really good. So it's not that big of a book. It's a really easy read. If you haven't seen the movie, it talks about really famous people. People in the game were like Alex Rodriguez, Tobey Maguire, Leonardo DiCaprio. All these people were actual characters in what really happened in the world. Some of them have their names changed in this book, but a lot of them do not and it's really cool. Okay, so the second book that I have here, like I said, no particular order, is Ace on the River by Barry Greenstein. This was written in 2005, but still all the lessons that are in here are applicable still to today. Barry Greenstein, if you've ever heard him speak before on a podcast or an interview, is just a really awesome storyteller. So this book is just chalked up with stories about being a gambler, his early career, his later career, tournaments there's even strategy in here and there's honestly just like tons of pictures like it's really cool to see his behind the scenes of what he was able to get together and collect throughout his poker career the third book is the biggest bluff by maria konnikova now maria konnikova was already a best-selling author and I don't know why I haven't really read into it, but she decided that she was going to study and write her next book on just like becoming a tournament player. She actually became a protege of Eric Seidel. He was like instrumental in teaching her about the game and she became really successful. So she's a, an amazingly smart woman. She talks about like her struggles, her mindset, how she became, how she studied and how she started doing well. This is like a really awesome book to read. So the fourth book, is actually two books. So Jared Tendler is an amazing person. He has a master's degree in psychology, counseling. I think we went to Northwestern. He coaches a ton of poker players and he's written two books. He, he wrote obviously part one and then part two. Part one focuses on like laziness, entitlement, injustice. This is just all in your brain. It's all of the reasons why you need to be in a good mindset and all the things that can affect you. It even talks about risk aversion, revenge, focus, and confidence. So that's what book number one focuses on. This is not the easiest book to read. It's pretty advanced, but once you read it, he actually mentions in the book, you need to probably read it multiple times because each time you read or reread, you pick up something different and you something might click a little more, like increase your profitability and your playability for your mental state. So that's part one. Part two, he wrote later, kind of focuses on some other things, um, just as good well written, just as difficult to read, but he talks about playing your A game, high performance, even multi-tabling, endurance, focus, just all of these topics are covered in part two. I would recommend getting both of them, reading them together. And like I said, both these books, you're gonna read and reread over time. You might 
come home from a session and, and just kind of think about like, what did I make a mistake in? It might've been your focus, it might've been your endurance, whatever it is, you're gonna find a chapter or a section in here that you can specifically read that over again and hopefully it starts clicking so that you don't make those mistakes again. So Jared Tundler, Mental Game of Poker, part one, part two. I think these things were like 30 bucks, but I'm sure you can get them cheaper now. Okay, so the fifth book is actually, again, another series of two. It's written by the godfather of poker, Doyle Brunson, called Super System. <clears throat> Excuse me, so Super System number one um, was a book, man, when was this written? It was quite a long time ago. I guess in 1978 was when the first printing or the first part of this book was written. But there's tons of some, tons of lessons in here. Now some of this strategy won't apply to today. It's not advanced strategy, but this is just a really cool book to read if you're learning about the game of poker. He talks about like draw, seven card stud, low ball, um, and it's huge. Uh, this thing is like 500 pages long. A lot of this sections were written by other players or have a lot of excerpts and strategy from other players. He kind of assembled the best players in the world to write each section if he didn't write them himself so this is part one and then like I said they created a part two so in part two he talks about other games obviously this was written a little more recently 2005 um, but this one has sections he has stories in there but he even talks about online poker which was like I guess booming in 2005 talks about limit hold'em Omaha 8 or better he even gets into some tournament stuff, some pot limit Omaha, just different kinds of strategy. And again, same thing, Doyle got some of the best minds in poker um, to agree to write sections for this book if he didn't write them himself. So these are just really awesome stories, really good strategy, and again, maybe not the most applicable to today's game, but really awesome and a really good core base of your knowledge. This, These two books combined were considered to be like poker bibles and they still are today. Okay, so now you have the insight into which books I think are the top five. I get a lot of questions on Instagram specifically about books and a lot of times I respond with, well, in all honesty, I don't think that the best content out there is still in books, but a lot of the stuff that's in books is really good core stuff from years and years ago that is really good to just have in your repertoire. Or also, a lot of these books, like a few of these were just entertainment purposes, just really cool stories about poker. And those are the ones that I actually enjoyed most. So that's kind of my insight in the books. Now, I want to give you one additional tip. Where do I get my books? I typically buy them on Amazon just because a lot of these books are older so you can get good discounts on them. Or I actually just like going in the, into like a bookstore, like a half price books and just checking out to see what they have in the poker section. If you go to a Barnes and Noble, I actually did that and it's in my Instagram stories or posts from I guess a few months ago. There's like no poker books in, in stores anymore. It's just like everything's online or everything's a video or a training course. So you won't find any in like the new stores or you won't find many in new stores, but you will find some really cool ones on Amazon or on like half price books. So that's my suggestion to you. Okay, so now a little bit of homework. For me, please leave in the comments your favorite book. I would love to see what they are. Hopefully I've read them, but if I haven't, I might just go out there and get it. So please leave those in the comments. I wanna thank you for watching today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make some notes down below whether you like these books as well, whether there's other books you like, like I said, and make sure to turn that notification bell on because like I said, we'll be having videos videos out here on this channel every week. Also, tell me what you want to see on my next like favorites list or top five list. What do you want to know about? What is it in the world, the poker world, you want me to list out and give you my favorites on. So thanks so much. Have a good day and take care.